All right, I'm at Guitar Center. I'm about to get way more than I anticipated. I watched a movie. It was pretty good. All right. It's raining. I went for a walk. I got a sand sandwich. It's uh, Friday morning. About to hop into a meeting. Got my salmon colored shirt on. <sighs> Today has been absolutely insane. I'm exhausted. All right, so pretty good day today. Just got off the Creator Now call, and I put was put onto a team with some dope people that I've already met inside of the community already, and I'm pretty stoked about uh, who they are, and I think that they're going to be a super good team. Um, that's it. So it's been raining a bit. I walked out of my apartment and, oh God. Almost just got hit by a car. It's fine. Um, but there are just these big pools on the ground of water. My feet, I'm glad I did not wear my shoes, but I wore my flip flops, because my sandals, because my feet are now in fact soaked with water. So, I don't know, they say Miami is great, but I don't agree. See this big pool of water right here? This cat really likes attention. It's looking at me. Yo necesito comprenda espanol. So I started tracking my food, but I haven't started changing what I eat yet. Oh my gosh, let's just zoom in right there. Look at this pizza. Ooh. Oh lordy. That looks good. A few moments later. Do this whole place before? Just love it. Now it's no longer. We are off. We are headed to Guitar Center. I think today is the day. I'm going to buy some gear so I can make music as I travel. I'm looking for some headphones, some a microphone, audio interface, and a MIDI keyboard as compact as possible. Let's see what happens. All right, the Uber is going to be here in about three minutes and it takes about 20 minutes to get there. They close at nine. So by the time I get there, I only have about an hour. So I gotta make decisions quickly. I just gotta pull the trigger. Ready, get set, go. Alright, I'm at Guitar Center. I'm about to get way more than I anticipated, but also about as much as I anticipated. I think this music gear is important. Alright, I've got back. I've got a bunch of goodies. I definitely spent way more money than I anticipated originally, but it will all be worth it in the end. You gotta invest in yourself, in your gear. Because if you don't like playing something, then you won't play it. If you don't like using it, you won't use it. This cat is bad. Now. One eternity later. I just got back and I am back from Guitar Center and I am geared up, okay? I've got pretty much my mobile music studio. Number one, I got my guitar. This I already had. So that's dope. Then I just got this. The launch key 25. I believe that I had the older version of this. I think this is the newer version. It served me very well. I think that the upgrades here will be satisfactory. So launch key 25, full size keys, pads up here. A couple more options that I had, I believe over here, fixed cord, latch, arpeggio over here, which is dope. 
quantize button, ca capture MIDI, uh, click button here for metronome. So that's pretty awesome. And then some knobs up here at the top. So this is definitely like an upgraded version. And I think it was on sale. So this is, yeah, the Mark III, I think at the Mark II, or maybe even the Mark I. So that's pretty awesome. I sold my other headphones. So I got these, Sony MDR. 99 bucks they are headphones and apparently they're more comfortable than others and they're relatively cheap low cost rather i think that they'll satisfy my needs so that's pretty dope headphones an essential key to the puzzle i got a xlr cable five feet live wire advantage we got the new trick connectors on here so that's quality right there I think these were super overpriced, but it's okay. Also, I got the micro tuner right here. Cover up my face. The micro tuner here from Didario. This is dope. This is going to definitely come in handy. I'm unboxing right now. I'm unboxing it. It's super small. Let's see if I can get to focus. I cannot. That's all right. It's super small. It's itty bitty teeny. Let's try and listen for this. Don't know if you heard it, but uh, let me pull out the tab here. All right, tap back in. Oh yeah, 440. I bet I could tune up a guitar with that. So that's super dope. That just clips right onto the top right here. Something super. Let's just see if it works here. Beautiful. That works very well to worry about having my phone for tuning anymore. I also got this beauty right here. So I don't have a knife, but I have a fidget spinner, which is pretty sharp on the edges. So I think if I just, this is the thing that I actually went for. I went for two things. I came back with like that Folkstrike 2i2. We have two inputs, two outputs. Very simple, uh, one headphone jack, one output, um, stereo output lineup, and it comes with USB-C on this side. What I like about this is that it's super portable, just like so small, super light. I also got some dope, some more strings, because I don't know if I can get those type of strings uh, when I'm away. I got some extra picks. We got the picks and then the creme de la creme. This is really the big boy thing that I got here. I got this. Whoa, there we go. It's a AKG C214. Um, it's a microphone. It has a singular cardioid pattern, I think. Yeah, just one pattern. It has a shock mount, has a windscreen. So well, let's make some music with this stuff. Yeah. right here comes with one of these the gels you know what I'm talking about and then we got the microphone well we got the shock shock mount right here so this basically if you attach it to a uh, stand it it makes it so that none of any vibrations that come to the stand don't come into the microphone and then we have the microphone right here well we got a negative uh, negative 20 dB over here. We also have a low cut um, and ba da da ba da ba da. Yeah, that's it. I mean, and we also have a wind cover here, so I could go like this. So that's dope. It's kind of pretty tight. It, nothing's coming through here yet, but we'll work on that. So let's set it up. Let's get everything going. Oh my gosh, I already ruined this. So, 
Oh, I got everything connected. What's really nice about this setup is I don't need any external battery source aside from my, aside from my computer. So I only need one plug to make this all happen. So I got the microphone, I got the mini keyboard here, I got the um, audio interface, and then I got headphones like this. You got the headphone action. Let's make some music. But first, I actually have to do my last set of 20 push-ups. Let's go. All right, 20 push-ups, done. All right, I spent a couple hours getting it set up so I can record my screen. I didn't do that. Uh, I'm about to go to sleep though. But this is a nice setup. This is relatively lightweight. Maybe adds a couple pounds to my carry-on luggage. I'm gonna have to get rid of some clothes, I think, in order to really make everything work. I guess we'll see what happens. Meanwhile, What's the deal with fighting for some girl that you wanted? I don't understand, these are the words by which I'm haunted And the answers I seek are never set in stone And can you hear the waves of my heart? Constantly echoing the thrill of my and even though love can I hide behind the words that I The warmth and the beat of my heart breaking But can you hear the waves of my heart Constantly echoing So come along on the journey that was meant I need you now, I am lost and all alone, alive. Blech. <laughs> out of my home ah, I would have told you a year ago interesting now leave me alone ah, sorry that I look like a mess ah, I'm daddy's made you his favorite open wide here comes the content it's a beautiful day to stay inside One thing I really like about uh, this apartment is the way that the bathroom shines. Some natural light. Yeah, like, it's just pretty. So I was thinking about tarot cards. Um, I was thinking about how they don't tell you your future. They actually reveal your present. If that doesn't make sense, then ask me a question about your future. Are you really seeking what comes next? Are you looking to find out what pathway you're going to take right now? See, whenever I draw tarot cards, I, I never think of it as fortune telling. But I think of it as a way, let's see if I can get this. There we go. I think of it as a way to reveal my own thoughts, my own insights of what I'm looking to do right now. What decision should I make in this moment to create the future that I want to? I look at it as a lens, stained glass window, to paint my perception. I just drew two of cups, and there are these two trees that are interwoven, clearly in love. And instead of interpreting that as, wow, there might be some kind of love coming into my life, and I change my perspective, and I ask the question, wow, where can I find love in my life? Cards about heartbreak, about love, about connection, it's all about where can I find that? Where do I see that? Can I be on the lookout for love? Because just like when you're going to buy a car, you're thinking about buying that Tesla, all of a sudden you start to see Tesla's on the road. And when you start looking for love, when you start looking for courage, when you start looking for self-expression, that's where you find courage. It's where you find love. It's where you find self-expression. Because you're not looking for it. If you aren't looking for the future, then you won't find it. 
if you aren't looking for the love of your life, then how can it be found? So I welcome you to join a tarot card, going online, seeing what the card says, seeing what you interpret from it.